Good morning. How y'all doing this morning? Welcome to Sex Talk with Sharonda. My name is Sharonda Parker and I am your host. And we have finally made it to March. And we all know that March is our month for Steak and Blowjob Day. So March 14th, if you don't know the date, mark your calendar. March 14th is Steak and Blowjob Day. So I have been posting up all types of um, different little memes. I have been posting up all types of different little invitations. If you're in the group, I uploaded about 15 different invitations. I recommend that you screenshot the ones that you like or screenshot all of them. And what will be really cute is for every day up until March 14th that you send uh, your victim, because that's what we're going to call him, we're going to send our victim one of those cute little blowjob cards to get them all excited. Because, see, you suck dick all year long. But, see, on Steak and Blowjob Day, this is the day that you're supposed to come with the bam. Like, you're supposed to, you're supposed to bring it. It's, it's supposed to be some extra shit that's going on, okay? So, today's topic is flavor makes it better. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. A lot of times, uh, ladies don't have an issue with performing oral sex. Sometimes the issue is taste, okay? And if taste is your issue, don't worry about it. I got you covered. I got you covered, okay? From down to flavor lubricant, down to warming, down to something that's just for taste. I got you covered. A lot of times what happens is, and, and that'll be another video for tomorrow, for my ladies who uh, want to end it by swallowing up all the babies and eating up all the children and, you know, she, she want to keep the kids inside of her, however you want to put it, um, that will be a different video. But for some women, they don't like the way pre-cum tastes, meaning that when men get excited, their, bodily, their body naturally produces what we call pre-cum. Okay, this is when they get excited, they get the erection, and then all of a sudden, at the head of their penis, there is this little sticky type of uh, fluid, liquid, whatever you want to call it. See, their body produces that because what happens is they're helping us lubricate the vaginal canal. That would be perfect for vaginal sex, but we are talking about oral sex. So sometimes for oral sex with some women, that becomes a nuisance for them. And when men are really excited, the more they produce. And it's like real sticky and slimy. And it, it, like I say, it's great for lubricating the vaginal canal. But for some women, they can't stomach the taste of it because the person that they with, sometimes they don't eat really good. Sometimes they have horrible diets, salty diets, greasy diets, and what we put in us, it comes out, okay? So if the taste is your issue, just to get started, we're not talking about you swallowing at this point because that's a whole nother video, right? That'll be tomorrow to spit or to swallow. But if the initial taste just to get going is your issue, let's add some body toppings. Let's add some flavor to it. I'm going to talk about my personal favorite first, okay? Because, first of all, all three of these are great. None of them have an aftertaste, but one of them has a little more of a stronger strawberry taste than the other, all right? So, we have Razzle's Flavored Lubricant. If you have been following me for a long time, then you know that this is one of my absolute favorites. You know that this is one of my absolute favorites. If you have been shopping with me online, you could have possibly gotten one of these as a sample, okay? For Valentine's Day, if you got a basket, you already got it. If you haven't used it, I need you to use it. All you're going to do is take a little of this and drizzle it over the head. Drizzle it. Now, this tastes really, really good, really, really sweet. No aftertaste, and it's warming, now, when I say warming, I'm not talking about warming to where it's burning or to where it will become uncomfortable on the shaft. No, 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 no. But it has just enough warming for you to be able to taste it in your mouth, okay? If you like the flavor of Jolly Ranchers and different type of sweet candies like that, 
then you would love Rousel's flavored lubricant. Now, this is on the website. Now, this is the first lubricant we're going to talk about. Again, this is warming. If you're not really a fruity sweet type of person, like a you like sweets, but you don't like fruity sweets, and you like more of a dessert type of sweets, here go the cookie lubricant. Now, I know a lot of y'all shop online. Again, you have gotten samples of this. If you have been dealing with me for a long period of time, you know what this cookie lubricant tastes like because I keep samples of it all the time and I'm constantly shipping it out with orders. I'm constantly throwing it in the bags when you shop with me. But this is a warming cookie flavor lubricant. Now, this tastes like warm chocolate chip cookies out the oven. If you ain't never ate a dick up with the chocolate chip flavored lubricant, you gonna lick and suck until it's all gone. That's what I absolutely love about this. You gonna lick and suck until it's all gone because the shit tastes good. I was actually in Vegas and they had me to taste it um, at our conference in Vegas. I fell in love with it. I walked back to the table and I said, okay, give me your card because I have to put this in my store. This has to go in my store because it tastes just that good and it does not have an aftertaste. So this is the cookie flavored lube. Then we have the traditional strawberry flavored lube. Now, this is the difference. This is a warming body topping, okay? Warming body topping, not really great for sex. Oral sex, yes. Not really great for penetrating and all of this kind of stuff. Well, if you one of them people that you like to get it going and you don't want to have to get a towel and wipe up and do all of this kind of stuff, then you want to go with this option, which is the strawberry flavor lube. Okay? So we have the strawberry flavored body topping, great for oral sex. We have the cookie flavored lube, which is warming, um, really good cookie taste, and it's a lubricant. Then we have the traditional strawberry flavor lube, which does not warm at all. It's just a flavor lube, a light lube with a hint of flavor to it. Not really a strong overbearing flavor, just a hint of flavor, okay? As I promised, during the month of March, we will be talking about oral sex every day up until March 14th. Every day you're gonna hear me talking about the games that you can incorporate. If you're just saying, okay, look, I'm, I just want something real quick, real easy to turn up for one night, one night, BJ scratch off game, BJ scratch off game. This is for one night of fun, one night. Okay. If you can't see it here, go one night of fun. They have all these different little scratch offs and you give the blow job according to what it tells you to do one night of fun. Okay. You need beyond one night and you want some shit that's going to last you beyond one night, get the whole booklet, which is the vouchers. And it's going to tell you, all right, blow job with whipped cream, blow job in the kitchen, blow job while watching TV, blow job first thing in the morning, blow job in the car, blow job in the shower, blow job in water, which could be a pool, a jacuzzi or whatever. But it requires you, or if you have a garden tub, it will work in a garden tub as well. Because this one requires you to go under water and give the blowjob. Blowjob outside. Blowjob in a random parking lot. Blowjob in an elevator. So this is for my people that's more adventurous who need beyond one night of fun. Okay? And... I said every day that I will be giving you different blowjob tips. Let me go through and see which one I want to talk about. Let's see. Twist and twirl. All right. I like that one. Twist and twirl. The Karma Sutra recommends a twist and swirl method for performing oral sex. Use lots of lube. Use your lips and tongue to swirl around the head and the upper shaft. At the same time, using your hand to twist up and down his shaft. Twist and twirl. All right, that is your oral sex position. Twist and twirl. 
As you know, I wasn't gonna make these videos long today because we're gonna be doing videos all week long, okay, for oral sex. I'm starting them off with the oral sex until I get into the actual teaching part, okay, this, this wig working me, okay. Anybody that spends over $40 in store online, you will get your free blowjob mask with any purchase here at the PPG store. Don't nobody else have the mask. How do I know? Because I bought them off. Yes, I did. Most of us that, that are in this industry, we shop from the same places. We shop from the same places. In other words, our vendors are the same people. And some vendors have certain products. When I see something I like that I want to use as promotion, giveaways, or whatever, I order the whole lot, meaning I, I order everything that every company has. So for the people who are shopping at the PPG store, they're spending over $40 online or in store. Look for your blowjob mask with your order in the mail or in uh, um, online or in store. It doesn't matter. You will get your free blowjob mask. All right. So let's move into the meat of this live. Okay. Someone, I'm not going to say someone, a few people sent me a message on Instagram from, I want to say she's a reality star, and I don't even know if I'm saying her name right, but I want to say it's Suki or Siki or whatever, because I don't really keep up with a lot of the, um, a lot of the reality TV. I used to watch The Housewives, but I haven't even watched it for the last couple of years, because for me, it's kind of like the same old, same old, but she put a, a comment up, and she basically said, being a girlfriend, okay, moving in doesn't mean anything. Being a girlfriend doesn't mean anything. Having his children does not mean anything. Being his wife does not mean anything. Um, the only thing that means anything is if he wants to change. Fine. She said her piece. I wish I had it right in front of me. I should have printed it so I could uh, read it word for word. But it was kind of the gist of that. Meaning that don't none of that mean nothing. Don't, don't none of that mean nothing unless he want to change or he wants it or so on and so forth. I really wish I could pull it up. Let me see. Let me see if I can pull it up on my... See if I can pull it up on my watch. It's Instagram on my watch. Hold on. I might be able to pull it up. I don't know. I don't know how to work it that good, too. No, okay. Well, anyway. So, let me just say this. When you see stuff like that on the internet, one, I want you to pay attention to who you getting your advice from, okay? I don't know a lot about this lady, but from what I'm reading, um, she she's not a married woman, and I don't know if she have children. I don't think she have children. <coughs> if I'm wrong then it's because I really don't know. But I'm just talking about the content that she put out there. A lot of women have subscribed to this feminist type of point of view to where they're wanting us to believe that our men are not needed in our lives. They want us to feel that us bearing children for them uh, does not mean anything. Okay, somebody said that she does have children, so I'm corrected. She does have children. Again, this is not somebody that I follow. It's just that I received a lot of the same message with her status. Basically saying, hey, she wanted to talk about this. Okay. Um, A lot of times people want us to feel like being a wife does not mean anything. Bearing his children does not mean anything. And I, I agree with live, moving an apartment or house don't mean nothing. I agree with being a girlfriend don't mean nothing. I, I agree with those things. But when you start to have children with people, and when you start to uh, sign marriage license with people, that does mean something. And I don't want you to walk around foolish quoting some of this crazy stuff that you see people quoting. See, when, when you got shit that's going on and it make it to the obituary, that means that it became a part of his life. When you read an obituary, it's going to list his children. And if he married you, you're going to be on there too. Unless he marry somebody else. Yeah. When you get to the point where you're having children, whether you're married or not married to this person, 
At that point, your child became a part of his legacy. And because you was the mother, you became a part of the legacy too. If you ever read in the Bible, if you ever read in the Bible, if a man had children, even if it was a woman who wasn't married to him and she was his concubine or the, the second wife or whatever she was to him, she was, she was, she was counted. She was listed. She, you know why? Because she became a part of his legacy. Because she bore those children. I have already done the video about the tree. The man is the tree. When you start having, when you, when you take a man, well, I'm gonna say it wrong. I'm saying it wrong. When he takes you to be his wife, everything that goes on with him, the tree, you become a part of that tree. So if he had a baby mama before he took you as his wife. She is a limb of that tree. And them children is a limb of that tree. He, they are part of that man. He is the tree. When he takes you on and have children with you, you become a part of that tree. Everything that goes on with him becomes a part of that tree. So I don't want you walking around quoting all of this craziness and all of this foolishness trying to make you feel like whatever position you played in his life doesn't mean something. The moment you start spitting out cheering for him, oh, that means something. That means you can go to the courthouse, you can request support for him. That means that the children can carry his name, he on the birth certificate. Anytime paperwork can be involved, it means something. Especially shit that can go down to the courthouse. It means something. So when I see women and they subscribe to this old feminist agenda, oh yeah, girl, I agree with what she said because don't none of that mean nothing until it means something to him. No, no, no. I don't give a fuck if it means something to him or not. Guess what? It is now a part of his life. And either he going to deal with it now or he going to deal with it later. But at, at, at whatever point he going to deal with it. When he decide that you're going to be his wife and he fill out the paperwork, either he's going to be a good husband or he's going to be a bad husband. But either way it go, he the husband. When you decide to have children, either he's going to be a good father or he's not going to be a good father. But either fucking way it go, he's going to be a father. So stop allowing these people to feed you this garbage. Stop amening to all of this bullshit because you feel like it sound good. Half of the women that's amening to this bullshit have never been a wife or a mother. And some of them that's amening to the bullshit that are mothers is because they are having children from men who are not good fathers for whatever reason. Because I've seen many stories working for, when I worked for child support enforcement, I saw a many men who wanted to be good fathers, but the women would not allow them to be because what? It didn't work out between them. And the punishment, because it didn't work out between me and you, was I'm not going to allow you to be a good father. I'm going to keep you away from this child as much as, you, as much as I can. I'm going to fight you in court every chance I get. Because I'm upset, because I'm mad, I'm bitter, I'm angry, because my fairy tale did not work out. Stop allowing these people to feed you all this garbage and you amen to it. Marriage is what you make it. Parenting is what you make it. I told my daughter last night, I got a daughter in college who lives in New Orleans, who, who's working. When you go on any job, you can get along with anybody. Yes, you can. I don't give a damn if people like you or not or you like them or not. You can get along with them. I have worked many jobs where there were people there because of their character. I didn't care for them, but I knew how to get along with them because I knew how to deal with them. And what happens with a lot of people is they lack the maturity to be able to deal with one another. They don't know how to co-parent and they make it crazy and toxic and all of this other crazy stuff to the point where the children become impacted. But it don't have to be like that. So what I'm saying is, when you got these people and they amen into all of this foolishness, a lot of times it's because they feel like they didn't got the short end of the stick. A lot of times the women that's amen into this foolishness, they can't maintain a relationship if they wanted to. Because they don't know how to get along with people. And they don't know how to compromise. And they feel like compromising is settling. And all of this other foolishness that they done been taught. Stop letting these feminists 
women, like let me tell you something, I ain't got an issue with the feminism. The I don't I don't have an issue with the, the movement itself. I don't have an issue with women getting equality because that's what it was all about in the beginning. But this whole I don't like men, we don't need men, we hate men agenda, don't subscribe to that bullshit. Because it's toxic and it's poison to your mind. Because if you follow me, again, I'm a faith-based teacher, we were put here to be helpmates. We were not put here to be singling and struggling and raising churn by ourselves and all of this kind of shit. That's not what we was created for. We wasn't. But, you know, we, we, we deal with the hand that we dealt. We deal with it. All right. That is uh, going to be the end of my live today. Again, we are here from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. The website is down below. My Instagram is down below and my cash app is down below. If this bless you today, please send a tip. You all be blessed. You all be safe. You all stay dry in this nasty weather. Again, thank you, Goody, for my Dilgo Dealer sweatshirt. I've been waiting on it to cool to get cool again so I can put my sweatshirt on. Let me tell you something. Support, support the fellow sex workers. I keep telling everybody, not everyone has a store. Okay? So if you are a sex worker and you don't have a store, but you do uh, you do home parties, or you in this industry in any type of way, uh, find Ask Goody on Instagram and go and support her with her clothing line for us sex workers. Yes, 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 go support. Um, I will take my time and I will go through the comments and I will answer any of the questions that are on the uh, live video from today. You all be safe. You all be blessed. You all stay dry. Oh, March, let me, let me get this hip. We have been working on doing the refunds for March Madness. We're trying to do a big, um, what you call it? Oh, goodness. My mind just went blank. We were trying to, oh, bad. We were trying to do a mass refund to where the system just automatically sent a mass refund. But for whatever reason, it keeps rejecting it. And it ain't got nothing to do with the money being there because the money is there. But the system keeps rejecting it because of the amount of money that's being refunded. So it looks like the person that's handling my website is going to have to go in and manually refund everybody individually for March Madness. Cool. If you pay for Ride Him Girl last year, don't worry about it. Ride Him Girl will be available for download by the end of this month. A new How to Squirt. I pulled my old How to Squirt video down because since then... A whole lot of new stuff that came out. New products have come out. New toys. All kind of stuff that come out. So I am remaking a 2021 version of How to Squirt. So we're going to have two new videos that's going to be available to download. If you pay for Riding Girl, then your download will be free. You don't have to worry about paying for your download. Your money will not be wasted and you will have the video for you. And if you and your girls want to get together and do a latest night and sip some wine and put me up on your big screen TV... And y'all get up in there and y'all do that ride them, girl. Y'all can have fun with it and create a whole latest night from the download. So, you know, have fun with it. You know, we're, we're in a, co a COVID era, so we're all having to make the necessary adjustments. Um, and if you haven't gotten your vaccination, get your vaccination. I will be uh, getting my vaccination at the end of this week um, because I'm working a store at the beginning of this week. So when I'm off, that's my agenda to get this vaccination by the end of this week. Um, and I think that's about it. Oh, and on this note, of course, my husband has his phone number up on the internet. And I told y'all we've been getting uh, all kind of hate mail, hate speech, harass, and all of this kind of stuff. But just know that when you texting that number and calling that number, you ain't talking to me, baby. You talking to him. And let me tell you something. He will cut up with you behind his wife. He will make you feel like the cum bucket that you are behind his wife. So don't play with Spencer about his wife, baby. See, y'all don't understand. I have a covering, so I don't have to deal with all that bullshit. I don't ever deal with no messy, petty, catty bullshit from bitches because I have a covering. Mm -hmm. And he going he gonna to deal with it accordingly if you call him about his wife. Don't ever think you're talking to me because, baby, you ain't talking to me, girl. You're talking to him. And he going to get you all the way together about his wife. All right. You all be blessed. You all be safe. You all stay dry. Have a good day.